Alright folks, here we go, race number 10 of the Snickers Cup Series here at Atlanta Motor Speedway as we prepare to find out who will be the last driver to be able to get into the All-Star Race during the All-Star Race weekend via a win. So we are going to give you the starting lineup here real quickly because we're going to try to get this event underway. This is exciting folks, last event until we get to the All-Star Race weekend in the NSCRA. Kenny McCurry on the pole for today's race. He'll start alongside of Christian Janes. Shane Green will line up alongside new points leader John Worry. Ziggy Bain will line up beside of Jared Crocious. Then it's going to be Chad Skinner. He'll line up beside of T.O. Bain. James Bald will line up alongside of Jordan Hester. Then it's going to be John Brace right to the inside of Patrick Murphy. Jake Berg, he'll line up on the inside of Matthew Rodriguez. Adam Chambers underneath of Evan Nugent. Timmy Pacioli, he'll line up underneath the car of Vincent Marsh. And then it'll be James McLeod, he'll line up underneath Daniel Schwab. Noel Stiller, he'll line up underneath the car of Dougie Shears. And then it's going to be Devin Wilson. Remember, Wilson went to Victory Lane here in the Mobile Cup Series race yesterday. He'll line up alongside of Lisa Shears. Arnold Columbia, he'll line up beside of the car of Alex Lozano. Ryan Acosta, going to line up beside of Jacob Lawler. Jack Nathan, he'll line up to the inside of the Jake Rogers. Rogers ended up winning the Truck Series race here uh, at Atlanta two days ago. Then it'll be John Dillon. He'll line up alongside of Anthony McCurry. Sean Galligan beside of Felix Harris. Trent Whitney will line up alongside of Angel D'Souza. Then it'll be Nick Eggleston, Harold Columbia, Stephen Dillon, Robert Ban, Jonathan Morris, and Jacob Rodriguez, the rest of the field. We'll get these cars rolling off. We're going to have 33 laps of racing here today. Speaking of 33, John Worry ended up being last week that Darlington, it was a tie for the points lead between our pole sitter here today, Kenny McCurry, and Timmy Pacioli. And in the end, it was John Worry getting a good enough finish to be able to take the points lead. And so now, the number 33 of Richard Childress Racing is our current points leader. We'll have to see if he will remain that when we leave here today. One good thing for John Worry, though, is that mathematically, he cannot fall out of the top 10 in the standings, which means he will make the all-star race whether he leaves the points leader or not because he cannot fall out any further than the 10th position in the standings so he doesn't have a win this year but he would get in via top 10 in the standings Kenny McCurry the same thing can be said for him as he'll lead him down to the green flag Christian James he's already been to victory lane this year in the Snickers Cup Series green flag is out Kenny starts to get away a little bit. Shane Green starting to close in here. Chad Skinner nearly got into the back of the Ziggy Bain machine. Bain had a pretty good run, actually, in the truck series. Oh! In the wall they go! Chambers! Evan Nugent was actually up and in the air there for a moment. Shane Green going to sneak to the inside. Looks like he's going to take the top spot. Coming off of turn four, he'll lead him under the caution flag, it looks like. Ziggy Bain! Oh, boy, I don't know if he got... Yeah, I think Kenny McCurry got Ziggy Bain at the line for second. Chad Skinner third, James Bald fourth, but a lot of cars involved in this. Daniel Schwab's gotten a piece of this wreck, so has Vincent Marsh, Felix Harris. Timmy Pacioli has gotten quite a bit of damage from that. There's Ryan Acosta. He's on pit road. Dougie Shears has also hit the pit lane. Alex Lozano, Arnold Columbia, Devin Wilson, they're on pit road. So is Noel Stiller, Evan Nugent, Adam Chambers, Matthew Rodriguez, Jordan Hester, T.O. Bain. Oh, and John Worry. We were just talking about him. He just got caught up in that. It looks like there's another car up there smoking. That looks like Jake Berg in the 20 car. It is indeed. Massive wreck occurring here. Possible damage to Jake Rogers. Chad's, uh, make that uh, Harold Columbia. Looks like he's got damage. Lisa Shears with possible damage. Jacob Lawler, Stephen Dillon. They've gotten pieces of it. So is Jack Nathan. Patrick Murphy's on pit road. Who's that coming down? Christian Janes, outside pole setter. Wow, a lot of cars caught up in this. Let's see what happened. Now let's first see what happened to Evan Nugent. This wreck, I think, occurred up ahead. Let's see, they got four, almost five wide here. Chambers gets turned by Timmy Pacioli right there. 92 gets into the 27. Up they go, Daniel Schwab, Evan Nugent, Matthew Rodriguez, Vincent Marsh. They're all involved back there. Oh, look at Evan Nugent up and onto his roof. Lozano did indeed get a piece of that. So did Devin Wilson. Look at these cars. Lisa Shears, Jacob Lawler, I can see in the midst of that. Jack Nathan's in there. Oh, wow. Lots of cars. Dougie Shears into the Evan Nugent machine. Look at Nugent. Still flipping. D'Souza's got a little bit of damage, it looks like. Robert Ban has some damage. 
Another car upside down there. I think that's Matthew Rodriguez. Jacob Lawler got caught up in there. There's Jake Rogers getting into it. Vincent Marsh, Harold Columbia, Felix Harris, Lisa Shears back there. Anthony McCurry may have gotten some of it as well. Now let's see what happened further up front. John Worry and Christian Janes, who had pretty good starting positions. They got caught up in something. Okay, here it is coming off of turn four. John Worry just gets into the 17. Down they come. Now jo Jordan Hester clips the 33. John Brace went into the grass there. And then watch right here. Oh, look at John Worry nail that outside wall. So did Jake Berg. So did T.O. Bain. James McLeod just barely got through that. Alex Lozano, he must have hit something because he's way on the brakes right there. Devin Wilson got a piece of that as well. Points leader, black smoke pouring out of his race car. That's a fatal sign. Means he's definitely going to be out of this race. Wow. Two massive wrecks. One occurring in turn two, one occurring in turn four, and onto the front straightaway. And it involved our points leader. Well, this is absolutely scary. I've never seen a car get this high. There's Jordan Hester. He's trying to get his car restarted and get going. Look at Jet. The Jonathan Morris machine comes in, gets the 11. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at the car way up and in the air. That's got to be at least 10 to 11 feet off. And then Adam Chambers comes in. Right, The 11 landed right on top of Chambers. Holy mackerel. That is one scary looking wreck. I hope both Chambers and Hester are okay. And Jonathan Morris took a pretty hard lick there in the 60 car as well. Wow. Well, we'll go back under green. Shane Green is the leader. A lot of cars out as a result of this wreck. Man, oh man. Timmy Pacioli, Jake Berg, Adam Chambers, T.O. Bain, Jordan Hester, John Worry, Noel Stiller, Alex Lozano, Devin Wilson, Jonathan Morris, Vincent Marsh, Evan Nugent, Matthew Rodriguez, Daniel Schwab, Dougie Shears, Ryan Acosta, and Felix Harris all have retired. Arnold Columbia lines up one lap down there underneath leader Shane Green. Green is the leader. Second is Ziggy Bain. Third is Kenny McCurry, fourth Chad Skinner, fifth James Bald, Jared Crocious is sixth, seventh is John Brace, eighth James McLeod, ninth John Dillon, and tenth is Sean Galligan. Eleventh is Jack Nathan, and twelfth is Jacob Rodriguez, thirteenth Angel D'Souza, fourteenth position is Nick Eggleston, Robert Band, fifteenth, sixteenth Anthony McCurry, seventeenth is Trent Whitney, Christian James, and eighteenth, nineteenth Lisa Shears, twentieth is Stephen Dillon, Jacob Lawler runs in twenty first, twenty second Patrick Murphy, twenty third is Harold Columbia, twenty fourth is Jake Rogers, and one lap down in twenty fifth is Arnold Columbia. Only 25 cars left on the racetrack. 24 of them on the lead lap after two massive wrecks here on the very first lap of this event. We'll get the green on lap 6 of 33. Green flag back out. Shane Green, he's yet to go to victory lane this year in the Snickers Cup Series. Actually, the same can be said for all drivers in the top five, I believe. Look at Ziggy Bain right on the back bumper of Shane Green. He wants to move to the inside. As I was mentioning, Ziggy Bain had a pretty good run over in the Truck Series race, but ended up wrecking with Adam Chambers on the final lap. He ended up, I believe he would have finished top five had he not wrecked. Whoa! Chad Skinner making a little almost three-wide move under there. Caution out once again. This time it looks like it's for Jacob Lawler, Anthony McCurry, and Sean Galligan, who crossed the stripe in 10th last time by. Trent Whitney is also on pit road. Harold Columbia looks like maybe he sustained some more damage. And so this is the second caution of the day. Doesn't look like it's nearly as bad. As Whoa, look at James Bald. Got into the 21. Got turned around off the nose of somebody else there, but he'll go back in to the position that he crossed the stripe in, which would be fifth. But let's see why we're under the caution flag. Well, it looks like for Galligan, it was really just a single car spin right there. He's caught up behind the lap car of Arnold Columbia. And Nick Eggleston gets into the back of the 10. And, oh, nope, right there. Trent Whitney nails the back end of Galligan's race car. And Trent Whitney's up and into the fence right there. Kind of caught there between himself and Lisa Shears and the wall. Oh, and Jacob Lawler into the back of Lisa Shears catches Anthony McCurry just a little right there. Jake Rogers, look at him make his move into the inside. And so that's why we're underneath the caution flag. Pretty much like a five-car incident. All right, here we go. Ready to go back underneath the green flag. Cars that retired as a result of this wreck include Lawler, 
Trent Whitney. They have retired from today's race. Arnold Columbia still one lap down there. Now he is in the 23rd position. Leader is Shane Green. Ziggy Bain second. Chad Skinner's moved up to third. Fourth, Kenny McCurry. Fifth is James Ball. Sixth is Jared Crocious. Seventh is John Brace. Eighth, James McLeod. Ninth, John Dillon. And in tenth is Jacob Rodriguez. Jack Nathan runs 11th, 12th Angel D'Souza, 13th is Robert Ban, 14th Christian James, 15th Nick Eggleston, Patrick Murphy, he runs in 16th, 17th position is Harold Columbia, 18th is Jake Rogers, 19th is Devin Dillon, Sean Galligan, 20th, 21st is Anthony McCurry, and Lisa Shears is in 22nd, one lap down in 23rd is Arnold Columbia. You know, I'm noticing up here in the front of this field, the first car to actually uh, have a win is the guy running back in seventh position. That's John Brace. So the top six cars have not yet been to victory lane this year. Kenny McCurry, we mentioned he would be in the all-star race anyway because of he he's going to probably finish top ten in the standings. But Shane Green, Ziggy Bain, Chad Skinner, James Bald... It's kind of up in the air for them. Jared Crocious as well on whether they'd be in the top 10 or not when this race ends. So they want to get to victory lane to secure themselves a spot in the all-star race. Green flag back out on lap 11 of 33. Look at Chad Skinner down to the inside there in that 36 car. He had a pretty good qualifying run in that 36 car here today. Last time we saw Skinner was back at Infineon. He made, a race, uh, made the race that he ended up winning in the Snickers Cup Series back in Season 1. Didn't finish quite so well, though, in the 36 car. Oh, Ziggy Bain almost got into James Bald right there. That was a little close for comfort. Hey, we made a green flag lap. How about that? It's now Shane Green, Chad Skinner, now a battle for third between Kenny McCurry down low and Jared Crocious just behind him, James Bald up on the high side. Suddenly showing himself up in the top ten as well as John Dillon in the 32 Dylan has a chance to possibly get in via top 10 in the standings. He needs a good run here today, though, in order to secure that. Shane Green out in front. Chad Skinner there in second. Those are two single-car race teams, one from Wood Brothers Racing and the other one from Tommy Baldwin Racing. But they are out in front. Then a good battle back here. Let's follow this battle back here between Jared Crocious, Ziggy Bain, James Bald, Kenny McCree. That's been going on for the last two or three laps. Oh, boy. We got a battle on for the lead, it looks like. Chad Skinner has been closing up the gap, slowly but surely, on the 21 Motorcraft Ford of Shane Green. He is now within one and a half car lengths off of turn two. And whoa, did he close up the gap right there. Now a full car length just separating himself from leader Shane Green. And I'll tell you something else. The guy running third now would be, I believe that's the 24 of Ziggy Bain. He broke away from all this. He's starting to try and catch back up to these guys as well to make it a three-man fight. He's bringing along James Bald and Kenny McCurry. Chad Skinner trying to work all over the back bumper of Shane Green. Green a rookie. Skinner is a veteran. Skinner raced the 66 car for Prism Motorsports last season. Picked up one win. That came at Infineon due to fuel mileage strategy. Skinner is really, he is right there. He could make a move if he wanted to, but he seems pretty content right now just to ride behind that Motorcraft Ford. Here he comes. He got run to the inside. Skinner going to the bottom. Can he make it stick and try and take the top spot here? We're halfway in this event. Skinner will take the lead. Shane Green will try and slide right behind him in second to try and hold off Ziggy Bain, challenging him for that second position. Whoa, Green, though, slides up the racetrack. They're going to go three wide back there for a second. James Ball down low. Ziggy Bay in the middle. Oh, it's tight off turn two. Shane Green, the biggest mistake he made right there. Big rookie mistake. He did not get his car behind the 36. That opened up the door for Ziggy Bain, James Ball, and others to just freight train him down low. Chad Skinner now out in front. This is the most muscle we have seen out of Skinner since he started in the NNSCRA, to my knowledge. Yes, he did pick up a win at Infineon, but Skinner ended up winning that due to fuel strategy, not because he was passing cars on the racetrack. Ziggy Bain, though, and James Bald, they are closing in mighty quickly. The two of them are now less than four car lengths off the back bumper of the XL Batteries. Chevrolet from Tommy Baldwin Racing. 
No, Ziggy Bain's done a pretty doggone good job in that 24 car. He's a rookie this year. But he has uh, been up and down in the top 20, but to my knowledge, he's not really slipped out from around the 20th position at all. He's been able to maintain a very nice spot in the standings, and who knows, if the 24 hit a nice winning streak and good consecutive finishes in the second half of the season, we may find the 24 car and driver Ziggy Bain as a chase and championship contender. John Brace suddenly showing himself there in the top five. He's in the fourth position now. Brace has been to Victory Lane. We'll be seeing him in the All-Star Race. He went to Victory Lane in the season opener at Daytona. Look at Ziggy Bain all over the back bumper of the 36 of Chad Skinner. Bain wants to win this race something awful. James Ball there, John Brace there, Kenny McCray and Jay Jared Krosius make that. Have to try and catch up just a little bit. Then it's Shane Green quite a ways back. And then another gap back to the car running in the 8th position. And that's John Dillon. Boy, Ziggy Bain, I don't know, he's not able to really get his car a groove lower than 36, but here he comes. He got the move he needed to make, and it's going to be Ziggy Bain going to the front, it looks like. Whoa! Boy, Bain, I don't know if his car got loose or what, but he kind of deaccelerated off of that turn, and it's not going to pay off for him. He cannot get to the inside once again of the XL Chevrolet. That... I don't know what happened there. Ziggy Bain, though, had to let off the throttle early. James Ball didn't know if you noticed it, but he pulled right up onto it, and that kind of killed Ball's momentum. Now he gets shuffled back to the fifth position now. James Ball up to third. Kenny McCurry up to fourth. Croce is now going to battle Ball. That's for fifth. But Ziggy Bain refuses to get off the bumper of the 36 Chevrolet. Chad Skinner... Ended up being able to get into the All-Star Race last season due to the fuel mileage strategy at Infineon. That was race number 8, which meant that that was uh, two races left before they would end up going to the All-Star Race. If he won here today, that would cut it even closer than last year. But Bain is there. There's a slower car up ahead, the lap car of Arnold Columbia. Skinner's got to get by him as quickly as possible. He goes to the high side. Ziggy Bain going to challenge down low. Look at John Brace going three wide. Oh, my word. Did Brace... Wow. Brace just nailed it into that front straightaway right at the stripe, and that may give him a second position, but it kind of allowed Chad Skinner to get away. I don't think those other guys got around the lap car of Arnold Columbia nearly as good as leader Chad Skinner did. I'm looking at the Tron here, seeing if there's any other cars slower up ahead. Looks like maybe Jake Rogers may be met before this race is over. So that could play into whether or not Chad Skinner wins this race or not. John Brace looking for his second win this season. He won at Daytona. He'd love to win here today at Atlanta. He runs in second. Jared Crocious is back there in third. Now he's getting a challenge down low from James Baldwin. Look at Shane Green suddenly coming back. Hey, look at back here. A Gorko homer in the form of Jacob Rodriguez. Crossing the stripe this time in the 8th position. He started dead last, if my memory serves me. How about that? Absolutely incredible. But it is still Chad Skinner with about 4 car lengths. Make that 3, 3.5 three off of turn 4 over John Brace. This is probably the most muscle we've seen out of the John Brace machine since the Daytona race. He's trying to chase down the Chad Skinner machine. Back in third now is James Bald and Shane Green, who was up front for most of this race early on. He slipped to the back. He's now back up to fourth. We got a total of six laps to go, and that 29 car of John Brace is slowly but steadily reeling in the 36. Five laps to go when they hit the stripe here. Chad Skinner, John Brace. Skinner yet to go to victory lane this season. He has one win, though. John Brace has a win at Daytona this season. They've got the Stephen Dillon machine just ahead. Dillon. Will he slow them up? No. Skinner forges to the inside. So does John Brace. And they are less than a car length apart. Skinner, though, got off of turn four better than John Brace. Begins to pull away just a little bit again. Chad Skinner, this is his third start this season. His first one came, I believe it was at Daytona. His second one came at Infineon. His third one here today at Atlanta. 
Next car here, Jake Rogers. He's a slower car. Skinner gets by. John Brace tries to close up the gap. Cannot do it this time, it doesn't look like. John Brace having a tough time with these slower race cars. A total of three laps remaining. And now John Brace getting challenged down low. James Bald to the inside. And this time, Bald has to fall out of the throttle just a little bit. James John Brace going to try and forge ahead on the high side. Shane Green going to the high side as well. Ziggy Bain back there as well. He's in that fifth position. But it's all going on behind the Chad Skinner machine. Skinner will cross the stripe. Get the signal of two laps to go. Can anybody back there? Bald, Bain, Brace. Green, can they catch up and try and make this a battle for the win? Crocious back there in six. I don't think he's going to be able to get up and challenge, but if these four back here would stop battling amongst themselves, they might be able to catch Chad Skinner. But he comes out of turn four. He'll hit the stripe, and he'll be presented the white flag. Chad Skinner trying to do the impossible. Skinner is a go-or-go-homer car. James Bald, though, he's broken free of everyone. He's trying to close back in. Everybody now single file, trying to run down the 36. He just got to hit turn three and four perfectly. Chad Skinner, he won last season at Infineon. That got him into the All-Star Race. Today, off turn four for the final time, he'll win in Atlanta, and he'll go to the All-Star Race for the second season in a row. Absolutely incredible. A go-or-go-homer gets it done here today at Atlanta. And we'll see the 36 car in the starting lineup for the All-Star Race this season in the Snickers Cup Series. And this time he earned the win. Chad Skinner earned the win. No pit strategy, just pure out racing muscle to keep the lead and to win this race. So congrats to Chad Skinner. We'll show you now the standings, the finishing order, and who's made the All-Star Race via win. Oh, Trish and Jane's getting spun back there. But congrats to Chad Skinner. Here comes everything else. See you guys later. You've been watching the production of NSRA. Now, Mercy NCG MRS, the All-Star Race Weekend is coming up next.